World Health Organization and non-governmental organizations have indicated that 13 percent of uh, babies and children of school going age in sub-Saharan Africa are sexually abused uh, daily in Cameroon. Watchdog organizations say the figure is more than uh, 40 percent and the ministries defending uh, that cause say the figure is more like exaggerated but they have no uh, statistics on that. In today's edition of Turn Up, we focus on child abuse. We talk about it in all its form. We have the experts that are here with us in the studio. The program is Turn Up. Stay with us. Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of your program, Turn Up, a program that seeks to empower women and the girl child to broadcast live every Wednesday at exactly 7 p.m. on Canal to English. And our aim or goal is empowering our women to participate fully in economic life across all sectors, which is essential to build a stronger economies. And today we focus on child abuse. Now, what is child abuse? What is it all about? Who are the abusers? Why does it get punished? Why is it that the practice or the phenomenon which is on the rise in Cameroon goes on the now we'll be talking about uh, that and want to participate on today's edition of this uh, uh, program you can send your reactions on the numbers you'll be seeing on your tv screens you can equally send your reactions on our facebook page and on youtube you just need to type team maureen turn up and you have all our past editions we'll be right back Time for us to know who our guests are. Let the conversation uh, begin. I begin with the person that is very close to me. She's called uh, Sono uh, Josephine, a gender and child protection officer at the Cameron Baptist uh, Convention Health Service. Am I right? Well, now, how are you today? I'm good. You traveled all the way from Bamenda. Yeah, coming all the way from Bamenda, knowing what's there. Mm -hmm. well, it's always a delight being on your program. All right. Now, we also have a full Maureen. Epuzo for she's carried out a research on child abuse, right? That's your daily job, carrying out research, especially on child abuse? Not just a daily job, but mm. just one of mm. my activities. All right. All right, today we are talking about child abuse. Now, how do we define child abuse? Child abuse has to do with psychological or emotional, mm -hmm. sexual, neglect, and mm -hmm. physical mm -hmm forms of actions mm -hmm. perpetrated on a child mm -hmm. in a relationship of responsibility, trust and power between an adult and a child. Mm -hmm. And we say it is knowingly or unknowingly mm -hmm. prevent uh no knowingly or unknowingly done or not prevented mm -hmm. that ends up with significant harm mm -hmm. or eventual death mm -hmm. of a child. Now, if you look at a situation where a child has been raped and has hemorrhaged, means that the child has bled until some part of the, 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 the system is destroyed and the child ends up maybe with an infectious disease, mm -hmm. ends up maybe with a dysfunction in the system and cannot bear children and mm -hmm. all of that. That's significant harm. Mm -hmm. And eventual death will be in the cause, I mean, it's death, the child died. Mm -hmm. We've had scenarios where children have been left unsupervised mm -hmm. and they jumped into... Maybe because the parents did not even check or know that the child has been water, abused. Water that mm -hmm. is boiled or oil that they're frying things. Okay. Or, or even sha in the village. Mm -hmm. In the villages and even in towns, we have people doing the sha business, the corn beer business. Mm -hmm. And we have many of those things, even in the wells around the, the, the compound. Mm -hmm. We have this uh, 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 attitude of having wells that are not covered, mm -hmm. and so a child could jump into it mm -hmm. and ends up dying. So we are looking at that scenario of actions pre not prevented or 
All right. done intentionally All right. that ends up with significant harm. We're not talking only about child sexual abuse of children. No. Abuse We're talking about generally. abuse uh, generally. Because yes. there are some forms of abuse that parents don't even know that the children are being abused. Exactly. Emotionally, they don't know that they are abusing children. Mm -hmm. Now, you look at your child and uh, a, a husband tells a wife, uh, I really don't know. Can you, you, you have to tell me who the father of this child is. Mm -hmm. And it's playing down on the emotions and the psychology of the child, mm -hmm. you see. It means that you have not accepted who this child is, knowing fully well that the child belongs to you. And maybe you say it in front of the child. In when front the child of the is child. There and the child is getting yeah, it all. Yeah, and you know, you, at times you just call children Obanji, good for nothing, you're stupid, and all of that. Those tendencies, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, a, a, a parent gets up and tells the child, Balog picking, you know, now all my problems are because of you. Mm -hmm. And we keep getting those kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, reactions from parents, mm -hmm. from maybe teachers who, who tell children that you, 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 all you need to know is just come and, and, and play, mm -hmm. you know. Or eat. And, or eat. <laughs> I okay. mean, look at your friend there. Look at this young one. This and, one is and, and, intelligent and, and you and are just a dumb, yeah. you are you an see. idiot. Those I things mean. that you really, people don't no, get no, the to effect on the child. that it has long-term uh, right. impact now, on, on the Now, children. when we look at a society today, is it a growing phenomenon? Yes, I would say it's really growing. Mm -hmm. It's really growing. Mm -hmm. In Cameroon, it's growing. Mm -hmm. uh, studies have shown that uh, in Cameroon, over 50% of children mm -hmm. So it's a growing phenomenon in society today. So which means that we have parents to abuse children on a daily basis at home, in schools, everywhere. maybe in churches, everywhere in society. And these, I mean, nobody even notices it or realizes that you're actually abusing a, ch a child. Now, why is it that we don't have statistics in Cameroon? We'll talk about child abuse. It's really like so, so difficult to have uh, real statistics or uh, data on child abuse in Cameroon. It seems to be a real serious problem getting statistics on that. Um, you, you, you are quite right to say that it's challenging to get uh, a statistics on, on, mm -hmm. on child abuse. Now, we, when we look at the, the, the set of, uh, I, I don't know if I put it that, that way, but interest in research mm -hmm. has, has mostly been on health, on some kinds of, of, of uh, experiences or things in relation to the human being mm -hmm. now because uh, in our culture i mean everyone thinks that it's my child i can do anything with a child okay. you mm -hmm. know i mean it's the child is mine if i'm a business of a child the neighbor says no stop child, child, it's, it's my, my child. issue mm -hmm. it's my child i carry the child in my womb mm -hmm. and all of that and all of that mm -hmm. so we've not really understood because child protection seemingly is a new concept. Mm -hmm. It's a new concept within the African setting mm -hmm. and within Cameroon mm -hmm. in particular. Mm -hmm. You know, most often when you talk about the abuse of children, some people say, stop bringing this Western idea in, in our context. Mm -hmm. Our parents used to beat us and flog us mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we became who we are today, mm -hmm. you know, and all of those kinds of things. But they forget to understand that all of these build up. Mm -hmm. When a child experiences adversities, mm -hmm. And repeatedly too, mm -hmm. you discover that the children struggle to thrive. Mm -hmm. Some will, co will, will develop mecha coping mechanisms when, when, when you are getting into the, the later part of this program. We'll have someone talk about All it right. so 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 much. You see, it, it, it's actually it, it's something that interest has not been put into uh, uh, getting to 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 talk about who 
uh, or what are the types of abuse. But I'll, talk, I'll tell you that we had a study in 2014, and this study was to, to check out what, it, what, what do we define child abuse mm -hmm. in, in our context. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, we had over 70% of respondents, including children, mm -hmm. who accepted corporal punishment as a way of life, mm -hmm. or as a corrective measure. Mm -hmm. But how much of that beating or using the cane we'll change should be accepted or, or will change, change a child like we're saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we rather want to propagate alternatives to discipline away from all those uh, 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 corrective measures that, we, were, I mean, they're intended to inflict pain and not actually to correct the wrong right. that the child now has I done. have this burning question just coming in. I want to find out, the children that are most often abused, are they, is it from your biological parents or their children that you take care of, they are just uh, guidance? You, you, you'll be amazed, the, 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 the perpetrators, they cut across mm -hmm. Uh, society. Mm -hmm. We've had cases where fathers sleep with their with their children. Mm -hmm. We've had cases where mothers sleep with their boy children. Mm -hmm. uh, have sex, sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me use the words. Mm -hmm. We've had scenarios where, like the case you just uh, uh, referred to, mm -hmm. it is the the uncle who burns a matchet, lit the fire, and asked the, the children to put their legs on it as a corrective measure. It's mm -hmm. appalling. Mm -hmm. We've had scenarios where. Uh, stepmothers use electrical iron to, to, to I mean, iron, iron the, the, the bodies children. of children as uh -huh. a corrective measure. We've had scenarios where they use a machete to cut children. Use, they use a, a, a blade and use maybe small, small knives and cut children and, and put uh, pepper and in no, it. it, it and, uh, it's and it's true that. that we have a, uh, a, a psychotherapist who will be telling us more about the effects. But I want to ask that when the parents does that, how does he feel? seeing the child in pain how does he feel that's something that can be can only that's be responded <laughs> to to by the, the person yes. inflicting the pain yes. honestly okay now i want us to look at the different types or the different forms of abuse mm -hmm. can we have them yes we have i talked about in my definition i mentioned physical mm -hmm. physical has to do with beating poking pushing twisting spanking smacking all of those those has to do with physical. Mm -hmm. It equally has to do with giving a child big load or so much assignment that is not commensurate to their developmental age. Okay. Like you find children carrying loads mm -hmm. and things, selling across town and all of that. They, That's child they, abuse. They, 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 I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's abuse. Mm -hmm. Now you find equally the. Uh, uh, I mean, that those those are physical. You find equally there's uh, sexual. Now, we, we, sexual, when they talk about child abuse, everyone thinks that child abuse is only sexual. Yeah. And sexual abuse has various forms. Mm -hmm. There's rape, there is incest. Rape, it can be by any other person. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to incest, it's with a family, with a blood uh, mm -hmm. uh, relation. There is what we call pedophilia, which is by older people on, on children. And children. There is also what we call vi voyeurism. You're peeping on a child who is dressing mm -hmm. and, and all of that mm -hmm. or you allow, ask the child to I mean you, you call a child when you're, you're, you're bathing or something you just call the child to come and give you something just because you want the child to see your mm -hmm. nakedness, nakedness there's also a touches mm -hmm. you touch children mm -hmm. you find people they have a tendency of carrying a child and they take the child they, they do this they keep doing this mm -hmm. or they keep doing this with the child mm -hmm. those are forms of abuse mm -hmm. for pedophiles and then you have anal uh, sex, and uh, we 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 know it, it, it's called either lesbianism or homosexuality when you use the anal of the anus of the child to to have sex. Then there is oral sex. Mm -hmm. We we've had scenarios where uh, a male uses the penis to give to a small child to be pulling mm -hmm. it out instead of using the, 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 the bottle to feed the child, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and all of those scenarios. That's sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. We equally have emotional abuse. The forms I already talked about, negative name calling, mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. comparison, not belonging in the, in the child's life. That's, I mean, you don't hug your child, you don't make your child feel belonging. They don't feel in your life. You always uh, make the child feel belittled, feel stupid and all of those those are the way they manifest with the
kinds of names we call them, the kinds of words we use at, at them, and all of that. So psychologically, it Im impacts on their on their on their well-being, and it, it affects how they develop. Then we have neglect, as I talked about it. I've already talked about the forms. Okay. You see a child look looking shabby, mm -hmm. on camps, mm -hmm. not wearing, not looking properly. Those ones who look quashako, mm -hmm. like malnourished mm -hmm. and all of that. So you will find that uh, uh, the forms are there. A child comes to school and doesn't have, doesn't look kept. Mm -hmm. A teacher should be able no to shoes, point, point about. No shoes, dirty dresses. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or a child is comes to school, doesn't have books, doesn't have uniform, doesn't have all of those things. You should know that something's not right somewhere. Mm -hmm. So the forms are actually, those are the pointers that can let you know that something isn't going on right, right in the okay. life of this child. All right. Then you, you can find a child who is always secluded. Mm. The peers might be playing, you might get, uh, a teacher might give assignments for, for what you're going to do in, in groups, but that child is always on their own. Mm. You discover that something isn't right. Mm. Or when they dress inappropriately, a child will not be putting on a fixed pullover or something in the heart of the heat. Mm or be wearing a very big dress that is not their size and things like that. So when you get to see things like that, you want to begin to question mm -hmm. what is going but on in the life of the The society stuff. questions all those things. Well, some because people I have that say that, that people see it, but they don't react. They don't act instantly. Within, within our, our tradition or traditional setup or within societies, it is often said that a child is an individual it's only when it's in the womb. Mm -hmm. But now going away from that, we've discovered that at times, when you when you want to correct a child, the family member will say, "Leave them a picking. Mm -hmm. Whatever you don't do, leave them soon." So it, it actually it's a complicated se uh, then scenario. Then how do you do after that? Where because really the, the, the father says, "It's my child. Mm -hmm. You have no say here." Mm -hmm. What do you do? But you see the child abused constantly. What do you do? That's what we call mandatory reporting. Okay. When the when the legal what man is will not be common. coming, yes, we will be talking talk about, about it. But it's not yeah. common. It's actually not common. It's not but common. We, we just have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. We just have to do something mm -hmm. about it. You must not talk to the person directly. You can talk to some other person who can intervene. Mm -hmm. If you cannot intervene directly, right. so it's always something for us to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's about the well, the, the best interest of the child. If you look at uh, global instruments, when the legal man will come, mm -hmm. we'll talk about all, all the right. law no, and I, all of I, that. I'm just like so. I'm just worrying. I want to find out which among our watchers list is most common in society today. Uh, from the study we carried out, which mm -hmm. we're going to share the results mm -hmm. on the 27th of September mm -hmm. in the symposium in Yaoundé, we realize that physical abuse is still very much very high, but let me assure you, every other form of abuse that she's mentioned is present in Cameroon and is being practiced. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why we were really, really so concerned with what is happening mm -hmm. with all the talks, with all the laws that Cameroon has ratified, mm -hmm. with all that our pinnacle puts at, as punishment, this act is still going and mm -hmm. that's what pushed us mm -hmm. to get to the field to find out what are really the factors mm -hmm. that are still giving room for so much of child mm -hmm. abuse in, in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, Maureen, we had very interesting findings. Okay. And what we did was we went down and we talked to those children first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And we, we got the types of abuse. We, we, we spoke with them. They, they, they spoke their minds. You know, I love children. They don't lie. Mm -hmm. They are adults. We've, we've learned how to twist things, maybe coin them. But these children, we, we worked on with them, took some time, and they were able to share with us some of their stories, mm -hmm. which we'll be sharing in Yaoundé on the 25th. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you that all of these forms of abuse are still very much high in Cameroon. And like she said, we, we've gotten to a level where it's like, well, man for himself, God for we all. Mm -hmm. So we don't care what happens to the child next door. You care, you kill the child, it's your child. I didn't help you to carry the child. And even when at times you want to be like concerned, and they will tell you, but what's your business in it? And because we don't want to get into trouble with people, we've actually allowed some of these children to be abused. And in some of the places, we've heard some terrible consequences. Mm -hmm. Some of the children have ended up dying. Mm -hmm. Some have ended up with maybe one part of the body being maimed and mm -hmm. just making the child's development really hard and difficult for the Now, child. what are the contributing factors? 
Okay, we, 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 we have a lot of them, and I would like to just flash through your few. You've seen some of those factors we've that seen, actually... We've seen some of the few, and like I said, we'll be sharing it all in the symposium. If we take mm. it dead with us, you will really, really enjoy the findings. Some mm. of them stem from the fact that we're ignorant. Mm -hmm. Like she is saying, child mm. abuses, when you look at it in the context of Cameroon, it looks like a new concept. Mm -hmm. But much has been done in other countries, in international organizations working with children like UNICEF mm -hmm. has just so much to do mm -hmm. in the protection of the rights of these children mm -hmm. but in Cameroon we have deliberately refused to mm -hmm. take it up to look at it even mm -hmm. at the level of the homes at mm -hmm. the level of the society the church whatsoever we've been a little negligent about it all right now I want to look at because one of the factors let's look at parents mm -hmm. parents do you think parents have like abandoned their role of checking on your children um, I will really because want yeah, to I'm looking about the response. Who is responsible exactly, exactly. for that? We, it, it's actually, it's your responsibility, Maureen. It's mm -hmm. mine. Mm -hmm. It's the parents, mm -hmm. it's the teachers, mm -hmm. it's the nurse or the, 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 the medical practitioner, mm -hmm. it's the policeman on the road, it's the le legal person, it's the judge, mm -hmm. it's the government. Mm -hmm. the, the now, when the government and does not everybody. provide mm -hmm. the legal framework mm -hmm. and provide maybe a, a document that informs how practice should be done, there's a policy as a journalist when you're going down with your microphone on the on the on the street to talk to the child on the street mm -hmm. you don't have to expose that child to of further course, harm of course. so if there is nothing that is put in place to inform how your work is done how my work is done mm -hmm. in order that we sign on to the codes of conduct in to to prevent abuse from ha happening then we are failing mm -hmm. now if you as a parent you don't who is a primary care a, 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 giver a giver of your child you don't protect your child some other person out there will not show interest in your own very child. Mm -hmm. But if you put your interest in protecting your child, in providing for the needs of your child, the basic needs, we are not saying that you should be extravagant and want to give a car to a child who is not, no. We want the children to have the basics mm -hmm. that will, will sustain their livelihood and their well-being so that they can transition into adulthood, okay. growing through the processes the way they should, like every other child. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to say that mm -hmm. amongst children being abused, mm -hmm. it's worse amongst children who cannot see, children who cannot hear, children who cannot talk, children who cannot walk, mm -hmm. or children whose bodies, body uh, uh, parts cannot normally function mm -hmm. the way uh, uh, the, the, the bodies of other children should function. are, are, fun are functioning. Mm -hmm. Now, living with a, 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 a visual impairment that they cannot see, and they are using a cane, they need to access the classroom, they need to access the home, from the room to the sitting room mm -hmm. to the, the kitchen and to the yard to play alongside mm -hmm. their peers. Now if the, the setup within the, the home is not conducive, mm -hmm. is not favorable, there mm -hmm. are barriers, mm -hmm. they will stop the children from participating in the family. It's the same, by the same token, it applies to every other facet of the, 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 the community, mm -hmm. of community life. If the hospital is not accessible, it will stop every child who has one form of impairment or the other from accessing the environment. Mm -hmm. Using a wheelchair, I cannot climb the stairs. Okay. The child cannot access the stairs to go to the <coughs> classroom and all of that. So there are many of those things. And so you get to see that they, they, they abuse amongst children with disabilities. Research says it's five times more. That's, that's so painful. Now, I want to talk about parents in particular. Take, for example, the parents who work long hours, they don't check on their kids, they don't even parents who give out their children to others, they don't even want to find out how the children are faring. Yeah. Don't you think that in all of these uh, the contributing factors, parents have the greater part of the blame? Yeah. We will start because really we'll discover by adding that, that people that don't denounce it, even mm -hmm. when it happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maureen, I want to say that we parents, I'm a parent too, we have that responsibility. The truth is, before when maybe it was just the men maybe working, it was easier to have maybe the mom stay by, take care of the children, keep an eye on them. But we've gradually moved to a point where everybody's leaving the home. But I want to say that like a parent, we need to think again. Mm -hmm. Even where we find ourselves, like where we are to the way everybody's living, please, please, please create time for those children. Because when we neglect them, when we are not concerned, 
it becomes difficult and i want to say it clearly like a parent no other person can take care of your child more than you and if you start by neglecting the children you're pushing them more to more abuse out there because it's true, we're really just busy, we're crazy, we leave the house so early, <laughs> Look we at send the life them to other people. Sell, I mean, and they leave the house at 5 a.m. Mm. Take the, the typical setup of, of mm. Luwala. 5 a.m. they are fighting with the trucks that have run Jama Jama, vegetables from everywhere they want to take to go and sell. They left the house at 5 a.m. When do they return home? Who knows what has been happening in the life of the child? And you Nobody. come back, you're tired, that's, you that's, bump that's your head to the bed and... About. So we need to do something as parents. So what's the message you'll be passing out in Yaoundé when you'll be launching and uh, talking about your research and okay. child abuse and all these forms? The theme for our symposium in Yaoundé is the child abuse from awareness That's to action. That's going to be on the September? September 25th okay. in Yaoundé at Hotel de Ville. Okay. We'll be on the theme of child abuse or the abuse of children mm -hmm. from awareness to action. Mm -hmm. We decided that like CBC, we're not just going to be like the alarm that just rings the bell or children are being abused or these are the types of abuse present. Mm -hmm. we, we want to come up with concrete mitigation actions to be able to curb this ill. Our symposium has three objectives. One will be sharing the in-depth findings of the research we carried out in the Northwest on child abuse. Okay. Two, we'll be discussing the legal framework around child abuse in Cameroon because we have a good legal framework, but many but people don't know about it. So no, we want people it. now to know, to about, know about, about it and it. want to talk with the that actors. Know how to how shall we happens. going to put this in place? Mm -hmm. And the third objective, we're going to call on more action for the promotion and the protection of children's rights and then for the pro protection or for the for, yeah for for the protection or the prevention of child abuse because we really want it to be abused and especially in this humanitarian setup mm -hmm. yes especially mm -hmm. in the humanitarian setup where we have you know you were asking if it's on the increase i want to tell you that it has skyrocketed with the it's crisis not just on the increase okay. with the crisis the number of child headed homes has increased. Mm -hmm. The number of children and people ending up with one disability or impairment or the other is on the increase. So there is a need for us to sit and to talk about it. Like she's talking about a symposium is going to be under the, the high patronage of Her Excellency, mm -hmm. the Minister of uh, Social, Social Affairs, okay. because it's in partnership with the ministry. That's that the ministry that really involved. Exactly. Yes. I would also want to say that maybe at CBC, mm -hmm. there's a department where parents can actually come to denounce. Exactly. exactly. So I wanted to talk about it briefly. Um, it. Yeah, we have the Cameroon uh, Baptist Convention uh, counseling clinic. Okay. The clinic is actually a, 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 a complete setup where you can mm -hmm. come with issues. In short, when, 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 the, when the psychotherapist will be coming, he'll talk so much about All the right. kinds of services that you All can right. access at the counseling clinic, okay. the community counseling clinic, right opposite uh, Mbingo Annex out there in Bomenda. Okay. We can even have those services also in our facilities, wherever you find the, the, the Cameroon Baptist Convention Health Services hospitals you'll be able to have some of those services. Accurate. All right, now I want us to watch uh, this report. It's about a 59-year-old man who abused a child as a baby. Let's watch, we'll be right back. I'll have other experts to talk about child abuse. This angry crowd gathered before this gendarmerie unit in Ekatembeng neighborhood in Konsamba, came to pour its anger on a 59-year-old man accused of raping three children aged 5, 9, and 12. The elder's victim revealed she successfully ran away when the accused, identified as Jean-Pierre, started caressing her. The two others said the suspect used to insert his finger in their genital organs and threatened to kill them if they betray him. It is also reported he used to corrupt them with money. The grandmother of the children is in total shock following the attitude of the man she considered as a brother and in-law. Investigations have been opened to get the crux of the story. Popular opinion host Jean-Pierre spent 35 years abroad and came back empty-handed. Since then, he has been messing up with his life. The accused has denied all allegations and continue to claim his innocence.
Welcome back. The program is Tunnel, and we're talking about our child abuse in all response. And we have experts from the Cameron Baptist Convention in Bamenda. They are right here with us in the studio. We have the first part of our child abuse in all response. And this time around, we'll have a Lego mind and a physio. A physiotherapist, psychotherapist. Psychotherapist. Psycho Let me put it that way. We have a Reverend Doctor on Doc uh, Del Godlove. Nongde. 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 Godlove. I'm sorry for pronouncing the name uh, poorly. And we have uh, Barista Lamango mm. Francois of the Fila Northwest. Francois. Yeah, equally welcome to the program. Thank you now, very much. I'll start with. Uh, the physiotherapist, psychotherapist. psychotherapist, I'm sorry, a psychotherapist. Now, what's it all about? We're mm. talking about psychotherapists before we talk about. Therapy. Yeah, a psychotherapist, um, my work is to do counseling from a psychological perspective. And then, and so we, we, we try to, to look at the, um, the psychological issues affecting humanity. Mm -hmm and then to offer counseling integratively um, with uh, that uh, psychological mind. That is basically what psychotherapists do. Mm -hmm. and, 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 in the case of child abuse. In the context of mm -hmm. child abuse. Correct. This is the context where we yeah, are. In the context of child abuse, mm -hmm. we try to look at the, the psychological impact mm -hmm. or the psychological effect of abuse on on the survivors, mm -hmm. on the victims, mm -hmm. we, uh, we like to call it survivors, mm -hmm. and so and and, and, this, and to an extent, we also want to find out the psychological reasons for abusers, mm -hmm. and to offer hope both to the abusers and to the victims, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that is basically. Uh, right. I want us to start with the first mm -hmm. before we get to the lawyer. Now, what are the effects? How traumatizing? Is yeah, it? I think you have just named it. the The first effect is the trauma that mm -hmm. uh, the uh, children who have been abused live with, mm -hmm. and um, the the you can have the the physical trauma, the psychological trauma, uh, and the, the physical trauma. Like we have said, you will see the 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 abused child um, will not develop attachment to anybody anymore. Uh, the environment is not safe. Uh, the child is uh, it, it, the low self-esteem is one of those things that you will find out in, in children. Uh, they are scared about everything and uh, I, I, I will also dare to say that even the spiritual uh, trauma that they, they go through Mm -hmm. uh, they begin to doubt even the God that the father Richard, yeah, is, is, is worshipping. Mm -hmm. If uh, the child had been abused by a, a father, uh, you, you know, like the, the other people already talked about, you, you take uh, iron to iron the child's body and so on. You cannot afford that child to pray our Lord's Prayer. A father who had been so helped because he wonders he if, if really the God we're talking about father mm -hmm. behaves like this. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the psychological trauma that mm -hmm. the, the children mm -hmm. will live with, mm -hmm. and uh, somehow it it affects them right to uh, early adulthood. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of those two have decided I will never get do married not, again. Not get married will not get married again. You look at the man in front exactly. of them as an abuser. Yeah, an and, abuser. And it is, it, yeah, they traumatize the rest of. Yeah. Of their life, but why do they not denounce it? Uh, the, the, the the victims. The victim don't deny yes. it. Yes, let let's take a victim who is about um, five years mm -hmm. or eight years, mm -hmm. ten years. Let's let's leave our babies. Yeah, babies like one year is true. They can't talk. Yeah, but let's look at people who can talk or tell the parents that this is what uncle is doing to me. They don't talk. They keep quiet. Well, I, most I, often, too, the parents are aware mm -hmm. that this uncle is abusing the child, and they don't talk about it. When you want to report the case, they'll say no. Yeah, in some cases they are aware. In some cases they are not, mm -hmm. uh, because these same uncles will warn the children: mm -hmm. if you ever speak, if you ever tell somebody, <coughs> I'm going to kill you, <coughs> and children are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And in the context of uh, disability that we are talking about. 
they are even double vulnerable because mm. here somebody is uh, uh, living with um, with disability and he is also abused so it is a kind of double vulnerability in, mm. in in that case but the truth is that in some cases they do some family members do not know that what mm. their uncles are doing in some cases they know and because even it is when a, they know what they do and because it is a taboo in a, in the con in a, in the culture they don't want to talk about it because they wonder the the future of this child now that is By the, not the kind about of thing you know you're going to destroy that child exactly what <coughs> i'm actually saying from the psychological perspective mm -hmm. is that that should not be tolerated mm -hmm. that the children f uh, from uh, I mean, the children should be helped to know how to tell that story mm -hmm. And we need to assist the community. Need to, to uh, in fact, we need to actually go have a crusade to mm -hmm. help these children in mm -hmm. schools to know how to tell their story All right. in the way that somebody will pick it from there mm -hmm. and do investigation. I think the other people have said we have not created mm -hmm. a neighboring environment and mm -hmm. we don't have the resources where somebody uh, is rightly protected, mm -hmm. and so children are even afraid. Mm -hmm. In the final analysis, we're not. When I have reported this uncle, doesn't mean that no. the, the society has made it in such a way that children are even afraid to say it out. Let's take for example, what when when the parents are aware about it, mm -hmm. they don't do anything about it because they want to protect the family. That taboo, yeah. but the child is dying in yes, silence. Yes, the child is with the effects of that, mm -hmm. the impact of that. Yes, the society has now, done How that. do you act as a parent? How do you act? As a sibling, how do you act? Maybe you you are living close to that home. Mm -hmm. How do you act? If well, you see a child who is abused constantly by the the father and the mother does does not want to talk about it. Now, how do you act I in think that society? I think what we are trying to say is that we have to have to break the silence. Mm -hmm. That's really what we are out to say. That we have to break the silence because that's a key issue. Yeah, breaking the silence. We have to break the silence. Speaking it out. Yes, we have we, we have to we have to mm -hmm. give we have to give toll. We have to educate mm -hmm. the community and, and and let the people know that this is not right and mm -hmm. this is the right way to to, to, to pass across this mm -hmm. this message mm -hmm. at the same time trying to safeguard try to protect protect this, the this, child this, yeah the child mm -hmm. because unfortunately the legal person we're talking about it <coughs> tomorrow the person that is put is, is put in prison mm -hmm. for five years in less than one year he's he's, he's out he's and out there for that child yeah is that what you're talking about yeah, exactly. He is out to get to society, mm -hmm. and then the family that reported this is is already put at risk because the person said, "Okay, you send me to prison. I'm out. You are going to see me," and so uh, the society now is now mm -hmm. it shies away okay. even when they see this. Now, as a specialist in that domain, how do you get the child out of that trauma? How do you get the victim out of the trauma? We offer hope through our counseling services. Mm -hmm. We we go out to preach to teach. And to call the society, call the families, even if uh, you cannot talk about it in the open, please come to us privately because mm -hmm. the effect of that on this child is far reaching that we do not want mm -hmm. this child to grow up with that with the effect. Mm -hmm. Come to us even privately because we will work and, and it takes a long time mm -hmm. to journey with this child to the mm -hmm. point that the child comes out from the effect that he has been uh, in for, for a very long time uh, by that child probably even the family member. Okay. And so we, we, we offer hope to the children, to anybody that has been... Now, because we have a lot of them who have successfully gone out of the trauma, mm -hmm. and some of them even got married, but there yeah. are others... Because if you don't see the specialists, it's difficult at times to get out of it and embrace a it new life. It is, and people don't know what we are just talking about. Most people don't think. They think that, well, he's functioning well. They don't know. It is when that child, maybe mm -hmm. even at the age of 25, <coughs> sitting alone, and crying goes back to self pity, and you get and you see the child depressed. Mm -hmm. You begin to wonder, but you you are fully functioning. It was done to you when you were eleven years. Mm -hmm. Please grow up, forget about the past. Mm -hmm. No, it is not. You can't. You can't. It's, it's not that it's, easy. It's, it's not that easy. That. Somebody needs to journey with you to 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 help you unpack this past and get away with the unfinished business to get you function again. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's, it's a and we need and we need to tell this story so yeah. that. The abusers don't do that again. Yeah, we need to tell the story so that others to move on. Exactly. Now we have a legal uh, mind here, Barista Lamango Francois. That's right. All right. Now, 
when we look at Cameroon context, we have the laws. Now, what does the law say about child abuse? Every um, crime committed mm -hmm. against whoever, including the child, mm -hmm. is punishable, mm -hmm. as per the law put in place. Mm -hmm. And by that, I want to start by defining who the child is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. mm -hmm. The Oxford Dictionary is saying the child is any human being mm -hmm. below the age of mm -hmm. puberty. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> the African uh, Convention on the Rights of the Child mm -hmm. says the child is anybody below the age of 18. And mm -hmm. the United Nations Convention, too, mm -hmm. on the rights of the child. Those are the children that really need supervision. They need, I mean, mm -hmm. parents to have a close eye on them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it also says anybody, anybody below the age of 18 years. Mm -hmm. We also have Section 700 sub 1 of the Criminal Procedure Code that say also says anybody below the age of 18 years mm -hmm. is a minor and a child. Mm -hmm. So, so many laws have been put in place. Mm -hmm. We have the international instruments that have been ratified, both international and regional instruments. Mm -hmm. For instance, international instruments, the United Nations Charter mm -hmm. of 1945. We have the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. We also have uh, the uh, regional laws on, like the African uh, Charter of Human and People's Rights, mm -hmm. the protocol to the African Charter of Human and People's Rights on the rights of women in Africa. Mm -hmm. And we have the African Charter on the rights uh, of persons with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And also the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, international and regional uh, laws have been ratified by Cameroon, mm -hmm. protecting the rights of children and the girl child too. And these laws- On the field? Yes. On the field, these laws have been incorporated on the field mm -hmm. by our constitution's uh, section, article 45, that says these laws override national laws. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm coming from, to get to the national laws. Okay. Yes. So, and in the preamble of the constitution, it gives so many rights to the child. Mm. It talks about protection. The state should protect the children. The state should incorporate these international laws into national laws. Okay, the, the, the law you're talking about, we're talking about child protection in general. Child protection now, in general. Now, let's talk about child abuse. Is there a section in that law that talks of child abuse? There is nothing in the law that says child abuse. Mm -hmm. It That's punishing anyone that abuses or is there any section of the there law There are so that many that? sections. Mm -hmm. You talk about protection of those mm -hmm. rights before you yeah, talk about, about abuse. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you talk about the laws that protect, <laughs> yeah. then you go to the laws that that's punishes. What yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. These instruments are put in to safeguard mm -hmm. and protect. Mm -hmm. So in the case of violation now, mm -hmm. you have the penal law that mm -hmm. punishes, mm -hmm. which is the penal code. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if it is of a physical nature, mm -hmm. like she gave, gave the various kinds of uh, abuse, mm -hmm. if it's of a physical nature, you have uh, assault of various kinds, like assault occasioning harm not up to eight days, mm -hmm. which is punishable just from mm -hmm. six, uh, four to six months. All right. Assault, okay, the various assaults, assault occasioning slight harm, assault occasioning grievous harm, assault occasioning death, assault occasion uh, grievous harm like what she talked about like uh, they beat somebody <coughs> and then cut the arm so if you dismember a part of somebody's body mm -hmm. that will be grievous harm all right yeah punishable from uh, okay. 10 and to 20 the, the years those, the laws are there mm -hmm. why is it that its applicability on the field is a problem it's not a problem applying these laws mm -hmm. the problem is first of all coming out to denounce the mm -hmm. perpetrators mm -hmm. so that the laws can take its course. The law is, is dormant okay, if nobody says... The law can punish. Yes. Now, we've, had, we've, had, we've seen a story there mm -hmm. of a 59-year-old man who abused a child. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think most of these cases, when they go to court, how is it handled? Have we had uh, 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 abusers uh, punished in Cameroon and they stay mm -hmm. behind bars for as long as they can? Some, because most of the children end up dying. We have mm -hmm. the case of Kongsamba where the man was actually put behind bars, but in less than a year he was out. He bribed his way out. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I'm saying that the law, 
The only thing that the, 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 the law has some lapses on that, and that's what is contributing to the growing rate of child abuse in Cameroon today. That's very right. But the law is there and it actually punishes, else the prisons will not be packed full of abusers. Mm. Yes, including abusers of children's rights. Mm. Yes. For this case where uh, this 59-year-old man mm. raped the mm -hmm. five-year-old child, yes, that is incest. Mm. And incest is just punishable from mm. one to three years. Mm -hmm. And a blood relative was denounced it. So you cannot come from the public to denounce that, mm. except it is done by a blood, blood relative. That's the, that's the limitation to that particular law, mm -hmm. to that particular section. Mm -hmm. But then the discretion of the state council who brings matters to court may use another section to see punishment like indecency to minor mm -hmm. that will give the punishment from from uh, uh, 15 to 25 years mm -hmm. yes so there is indecency there there is incest there or he may take all the counts all right mm -hmm. now i want us to go on the let, let's talk because what our mothers out there in rural areas we need to watch this because we have a lot of these untold stories yes. that happen in the villages but we don't have these stories they are afraid of the stigma now if you are abused now what should the how should the parent act how do they get to you as a lawyer so they can handle the case okay i also work for an organization okay yes that handle cases of child abuse and the handle cases of gender-based violence mm -hmm. and the interventions of these organizations are totally free of charge mm -hmm. So all matters that I take to court are free, totally free of charge. Okay. Yes, it's called Medicine Jumon. Because the parents, they are not away, they are just afraid of the cost. I'll go to the lawyer, mm -hmm. I don't know how I have to pay, I'll be charged, I'll be charged of these. They don't know they can actually go to these places. Yes. And they are helped just for free, yes. without it, paying yes. anything. That's what I want you to tell us. And if now, you come to FIDA too. Have, if you have families who are going through this, how, do they, how should they act? How should they tell these stories? The first thing is... Can the law help them with that? Yes. The first thing is make a complaint to the nearest police post. Okay. You make a complaint to the nearest That's police denouncing. post. That's denouncing. Denouncing, yes. You need to report it. Yes. You need to the laws the are there. They are dormant. Activate okay. them in your favor. Okay. Yes, people say the laws, the laws are there to punish whoever violates yes, a child. Can, in which child cannot be, be abused by an uncle. I say no, it's, it's taboo family, how the family take it. Now, yes. That's what you're saying that we need to denounce, denounce it. Denounce it, yes. The nearest police station, go to the state council's chambers, mm -hmm. go to go to uh you can report to even an administrator. That mm -hmm. administrator would mm -hmm. take it to the nearest uh, state council chambers and, 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 and make a complaint there immediately. Mm -hmm. That's what the law says, mm -hmm. yes. And it also says that anybody can report a crime mm -hmm. committed, any felony or misdemeanor committed, if it comes to your knowledge that somebody is continuously violating an, a, a child in your vicinity, mm -hmm. You can report by virtue mm -hmm. of section 135 mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of the CPC. At times, if you ask, do you have the evidence? Maybe that's why people don't even want to go to this place because the first thing they'll ask you that, do you have an evidence? The of first that will listen to you. People think that legal practitioners don't listen. They listen. We do legal counseling. So by the time you you don't come, mind I'm laughing, but it's a serious issue. <laughs> it's very about. serious. It's true. It's really a problem out there. There is legal counseling that mm -hmm. is done, mm -hmm. and we we encourage people to to speak up, to speak out, to come and get help. Yes, because there are many legal practitioners. That the, the, the police are there. The gender, the gendarmerie post, and all it's that. Is from the police judicial station police station before it gets to court? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. It from anywhere. You can come from court to the police station if you file a direct summons, or you can start from the police station. You can start from the state council's chambers. Institute a criminal complaint. Speak out. Say something wrong has been done to me, oral or written, mm -hmm. and then you have set the criminal uh, 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 justice system no, no, in no, motion. No, no, what are the prison terms? Is it five years, ten years? It depends. It's, it's the terms vary. Like for instance, it's one to three years. Mm -hmm. And it must but be denounced why, why by... But why would they allow an abuser to bribe his way out? You need to stay there. You, you don't bribe your way out in the court pro process. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. We're not talking mm -hmm. about corruption. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Cameroon here. We're talking about our context. Wait, in mm -hmm. our context, honestly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we have been rated some number of corrupt mm -hmm. countries and mm -hmm. the justice system is not excluded mm -hmm. in it. Okay. So 
But um, talking about child abuse, we will focus on corruption. We will discourage people from bringing the complaints. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's focus on our su success story so okay. that it encourage others to come forth. Mm -hmm. Because the laws are there, the, pers the, the personnel is there to give out help, mm -hmm. to render services. But the population is not coming out with this complaint. So we want the population to come out yes. and complain. And complain, Break the yes. silence. Break the, the silence. silence, yes. Because you don't know how the, the, the future of that child is yes. on the balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, as I was talking about this section 135, if you fail to complain about uh, misdemeanor or okay, failure, you fail that's, to complain when you about fail it, to complain, okay. you'll be punished as per section 171 of the, of the penal code. And that is from one to that never punish any person. And that's from one to three years because it has not come to the knowledge of anybody. Mm -hmm. That's why I say the laws are there, put mm -hmm. in place, but they are dormant because we don't act. Now, them. now take for example, the family does not speak out, and then the lawyer gets it that a family is suffering from this. Why can the lawyers or the organization not move to the family and try to bring them out? to speak out. Okay, we are talking about a case I have in Bermuda where it is, mm -hmm. it's a case of sexual assault, mm -hmm. where this, uh, this woman got married to her husband, mm -hmm. coming into the marriage mm -hmm. with her three children mm -hmm. out of wedlock, three girls. Mm -hmm. And in that marriage, the husband <coughs> started sleeping with um, the first girl then the second girl, then the third. And one day she was going to, into the kitchen very early in the morning when she had put her uh, pot of kokoyam to pound her shoulder that she saw her husband sleeping with her own sister, which HIV positive, on a bench in the kitchen. And after that, <coughs> the man started sleeping with her own child, which is his child, the mm -hmm. first, his own first child. I with slept her. with the second and the third. No, he, that was, they had just one, so okay. he slept just with that one. Okay. And that was a girl of six years. Mm -hmm. So, this woman is a Pentecostal and would not allow mm -hmm. the children. He kept, she kept saying, oh God, God will take and care, God, God will punish. Nothing. She didn't do anything. She did not so denounce this, the man. One of, this, one of the girls, the six, a 16 year old now, mm -hmm. came to an organization that referred her to me. And when she came, they sent her to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So the woman was protecting the girl all along so that she should not tell anybody. Mm -hmm. I had to take her now behind a back door mm -hmm. to speak to her and then get out the evidence and every other thing and get the location where they live and all that. Mm -hmm. So I contacted now the state council mm -hmm. and reported the matter. Okay. So the matter is being handled as we speak. Okay. Yes. That is denouncing by somehow speak to anybody explain speak out if you speak out to a legal pla practitioner to a to a, oh, uh, an activi can, activist okay. uh, uh, a child abuse activist mm -hmm. to a guidance counselor to a principal to the so local authorities any, anybody that you find that around you that you action. believe you have confidence in and can, that take, can action take action and then help yes. you out yes you just have to speak out yes. break the silence now talk to your equally reverend mm -hmm. now what's the way out of child abuse well, like I started because by we're looking for solutions here. Yeah. We're trying mm -hmm. to bring out parents mm -hmm. to denounce these these acts of child abuse. Yeah. We're talking to society that they need to, I mean, stand out and speak out. I think we are calling abuse. on all the, all our stakeholders, mm -hmm. humanitarian actors, mm -hmm. to to take charge, to 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 play their role, to play their own part okay. by reporting these cases and by identifying those uh, abused. And, and, and the sick services, like uh, the one that we are talking about, the mm -hmm. county services, mm -hmm. where these people, while they are, the legal practitioners are going on, at least we are helping these children so they can have a better future. Mm -hmm. So the way out is to really break the silence, like I've said, to be able to, 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 to speak out and to determine that I, I'm, I'm not going to be quiet mm -hmm. once I've seen this. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to report to somebody that will at least listen. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, I'm going to do my own part mm -hmm. by not abusing, by not um, uh, neglecting, uh, mm -hmm. with, uh, from, and by not psychologically traumatizing my own uh, child or somebody's child. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that is the way forward, uh, the way out. And also, those that have been abused and they're living with the effect that uh, 
actors out there should indicate uh, and assist even the Cameroon Baptist Convention in bringing healing okay. to, uh, to, to the traumatized. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your last words? Okay, I want to add that the population at large should know that when a child is being violated, it is the whole society, the future of the country yeah. that is being violated, that is being violated. And if the perpetrators are brought to book, their punishment is, is not the same as if they violated an adult. Mm -hmm. They have double punishment, that's what the law says, by section 350 of the penal code. Any okay. assault on a child gets okay. double pu punishment. So people should not be discouraged about how the justice system works it's or whatever. Going to happen or what's people still get to relief. denounce. I will know what's going to happen next. Yes. You just have to believe in yourself and you denounce. Yes. Denounce it to wherever you find yourself. Wherever you station. find yourself. Yes. It can be a gender-based activist. Yes. It can be an NGO. It can be in, even in the church. Yes. It can be to the yeah. curate, to yeah. the mm -hmm. curator, the exactly. pastor. Mm -hmm. Let them take action. All right. Yes. When well, action is taken. We'll have a better and cleaner society. All right, we're all equally abuse. saying we all have to be in Yaoundé on the 25th of yes, uh, September, September for, the, for the symposium. Okay. Mm -hmm, where we'll be releasing all the findings of the research that's been carried out. It's going to be a great day, a great okay. time, and a great experience. So we're inviting the population at large. To all right, we are inviting the population northwest, southwest, uh, center. I mean, South East to be in Yaoundé for the symposium on the 25th of uh, September. September. We're talking about child abuse and we're calling on parents. We're, talking, we're calling on society at large to denounce child abuse in all its forms. The program was turned up. Thanks for watching.